Hi everyone, welcome back to Gracie Mae's Tarot. So today we have a super short, quick, sweet, to the point self-care reading. So there are three groups to choose from today. We've got pile one, pile two, and pile three. Timestamps will be listed below in the description box, just like always. And we also will be getting some Spark Grace matchsticks as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. So let's get into it. We have Nourish Your Body with High Vibing Energy. We have I Create Mindful Moments Throughout the Day, Reminding Myself That I Am Love and Miracles Are Natural. And then you have Love. Love people, love them with all your heart. Just be sure to love yourself first. We have Drink Tea and we have Watch a Movie. Okay, so... I will say, um, for you all, there seems to be a lot around mindfulness, okay? And so, with mindfulness, it's really bringing attention to the present moment, okay? So, in terms of, like, when you sit down to eat, when you sit down to enjoy a beverage, be present in that moment, okay? Like, don't be distracting yourself on your phone. Just really sort of enjoy the taste of what you're eating. You can even set intentions. Like, I set the intention that this tea will make me feel calm and joyful and at peace. You know, you can set some sort of intention, and that could actually be a helpful way for you to manifest things as well. Like I manifest or I set the intention that this smoothie will bring me lots of energy and I will feel like I can accomplish everything I want to do today with ease. Everything will come easily to me today. You know, things like that. Set intentions for the day as you're eating, as you're drinking, and then you'll remember. You know, you won't forget to do so. And the other sort of thing here is to relax. You know, you have two messages that include relaxing, you know, drinking tea, watching a movie is very relaxing, you know, and really focus on what you're doing, you know, watch the movie, don't be on your phone or um, scrolling through the internet or, you know, doing something else, like spend some time even with your pet if you have one, um, that can be also something that really brings your awareness to the present moment. And also here with love, you know, pile one, you likely have a big heart. You're likely very compassionate, very giving, very loving, but you deserve some of that love that you give so freely to other people. Give some of that love back to yourself. You know, it's not selfish. It's not a waste of time to take care of yourself. And the fact that you clicked on this reading, you're off to a great start already. All right, let's get some matchsticks. Pile one, how can you feel more connected in your life to grace and to spirit? Let's see here. We have give, give thanks that you are alive. This matchstick here makes me think of being grateful for the little moments. Being grateful for the, you know, small little moments throughout your day where you feel happy, where you feel peaceful, where you feel content. You know, if it's that first sip of coffee in the morning, enjoy that, savor that moment, you know. If it's getting in your car after a long day of work and you turn on the, you know, you turn on your music and you listen to one of your favorite songs, Enjoy that moment, savor that moment, revel in that moment, express gratitude for those little moments. We have look for the silver lining in an unfortunate situation. So this tells me perspective. You know, we're not talking about toxic positivity or forcing yourself to be optimistic, but if you can find some little sliver of hope, something positive, if you can change your perspective and try to see something from a higher perspective, you know, like how is this in the long run going to benefit me? How can I change my attitude about this situation? Because really, I can't change it, right? I have to accept the situation for what it is. My only power is how I respond to it. So how can I choose 
change my reaction, my attitude, my perspective about this situation. And then we have spend time with people who help you be your best self. So surround yourself with good people. And if you really don't have those kinds of people in your life, A, that's time to reassess your social interactions. But I think also if it's just cozying up to your pet or even getting a pet if you don't have one, you know, if that is the only kind of relationship or interaction that you feel right now you can trust, you know, we can have a wonderful, incredible bond with animals, then do that. That could be a starting place for you. So, you know, always tailor these messages to your unique situation. You know, it's a general reading. So if you really struggle right now and you're like, I, I just don't even know how to go about making friends, you know, and you're feeling lonely and isolated, you know, spending time with animals could be a good starting place or even going out and spending time in nature, you know, connect with spirit in that way. Whatever makes you feel loved, whatever makes you feel held, do that pile one. So this was your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it brought you some sort of sense of direction here about how to better take care of yourself, how to engage in self-care. Um, I hope everything seems, you know, relatively manageable, doable, feasible, whatever word you want to use. So please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. A huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. And yeah, the easiest way um, to support the channel is also to watch the ads. I forgot to say that. I know it can be inconvenient. So anyone who chooses to do that, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, pile one. Hey Pile 2, welcome to your self-care reading. So let's see what we have for you. We have Gratitude Rampage, list 10 things that you're grateful for. Let's move that there. We have When I Think I've Surrendered, I Surrender More. We have Beauty Ritual. We have Read and we have reassess. You have the right to change your mind. This is actually really interesting because I feel like your cards are telling more of a story than pile one did. So if there's something in your life that hasn't worked out exactly the way that you thought that it would, especially if you're trying to use the law of attraction in some way, or you're asking the universe to help you with this goal and it's just not playing out the way that you expected it to, Expressing gratitude for what you do have will get you out of that lack mentality. You know, if you've been really stressing about not having this one thing that you've really wanted, expressing gratitude for what you do have will allow you to surrender more and that will help that manifestation come in, you know, because it sounds like to me like you've already done your part and it may even be that what you were trying to manifest you now maybe don't quite want it in the same way that you used to, or you need to reassess the way that you've been going about this. Um, and even if you change your mind and you want to slightly alter what you were trying to manifest, that is also absolutely okay. Now, for those of you who are like, I haven't been trying to manifest anything, but maybe there's something that you originally wanted in your life and you're starting to rethink it and say, maybe I want to go down a different path. Maybe I want to try something new. That's okay. And don't let anyone make you feel guilty about changing your mind. And in fact, you may not be able to predict the outcome. You know, it may be like a little bit of a risk to change your mind. But this is saying, have some sort of faith, have some sort of acceptance that just because you don't know the outcome doesn't mean that you can't go for it anyway. And you have a right to change your mind and change your direction at any point in time. And so beauty ritual and read are pretty direct messages. So these would be helpful things for you to do. Um, honestly, kind of feels a little bit similar to pile one and that's doing something that's going to help you focus on the present moment with beauty ritual, you know, taking care of yourself in 
a physical, tangible way, doing something like that is going to bring you to the present moment. You know, like here you see she's painting her nails. That takes some focus, that takes some concentration, right? So doing something that's gonna help you concentrate on the present moment but a little bit different to pile one is that you have this balance of doing something that's more mental. So doing something that's physical, but also doing something that's mental, something that helps you sort of daydream, escape reality, step into someone else's reality for a little while. You know, reading requires mental focus, but it's one of those things that's kind of funny because while it requires mental focus, it also gives your mind a break, you know? It allows your mind to focus on something outside of yourself. You get to, um, you know, be in someone else's shoes, embody some other character's mind, their motivations, their dreams, their goals, their wishes, and it allows you to distract yourself, which will be really great if you're trying to manifest something. If you're doing something like reading, that's going to pull you away from hyper fixating on that manifestation. I also think with reading, you could see some signs and synchronicities. Your spirit guides may try to communicate with you through books, through any type of reading material, really, whether that's a magazine, a comic, you know, a novel, uh, a poem, even things that you see online, you know, like little quotes here and there, maybe that pop up on your Instagram. Whatever you're reading, your guides could be sending you messages through those means. Okay, and then let's get some Spark Grace matchsticks for my pile twos. We have expect the best from people. We have take time to reflect on everyday miracles. Ooh, I really like that one. That one works really well with the gratitude list. And we have do one thing that helps someone else. And that's a good way to pay it forward. Like you, if you expect the best from other people and then you give other people your best, you're working really well to encourage more positivity in your life. All right, pile two, this was your reading. I hope that it provided you a roadmap for how to better take care of yourself, how to engage in some self-care. We all need time for self-care, so I'm very happy that you clicked on this video and kudos to you for starting this self-care journey. Um, or for continuing on your current journey. <laughs> for those of you who are like, yeah, I've been taking care of myself for quite a long time. All right, pile two, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. The easiest way to support the channel is to watch the ads. I know it can be an inconvenience, but for any of those, for any of those things that any of you choose to do, I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. It's been really cool to see our community grow. And yeah, I best wishes to you, Pile 2. I'll see you in my next one. Take care. All right, last but not least, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So let's see what we have here for you. We have the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. We have a look for the signs and synchronicities. We have speak up. If you avoid conflict to keep the peace, you start a war within yourself or inside yourself, it says. And then we have create art. And we have family here. Okay, I actually wanna start with these cards here. These cards to me work really well together. So the more you focus on your faith, your belief in the universe, the more you try to co-create with spirit, the more you let spirit in, the more you lean into your faith, the more you notice the world around you and really believe in the signs that you're seeing. Don't second guess it. You know, when you see those angel numbers, when you see something like a lizard, <laughs> you know, on your window and you think, oh, that's a sign that's telling me something. And then you feel silly about it. No, like you notice that lizard. You've never seen a lizard on your windowsill before. And you had just asked spirit for a sign. This is your sign. 
what is what is that message telling you you know um you suddenly see a yellow feather like right on like your the hood of your car or something i don't know but like however your guides are trying to connect with you you know um you're thinking about someone and then all of a sudden they call and they tell you something and you're like that, that, that's kind of like an odd thing for them to say. I wonder if that was meant to be a message for my guides. You know, take the message, take the sign, take the synchronicity. Don't second guess yourself. Mm -hmm. And then this message here is actually one of my favorite, favorite sayings. It's a lesson I had to learn the hard way, but once I learned it, it was the most freeing thing I think I've ever, of, of any lesson I've ever um you know, as, how do I say it? I don't want to say lesson learned, but I guess that's the best way of saying it. Um, it's very true, you know? We try so hard to avoid conflict with other people, but when you're pushing down your own truth, when you're swallowing back your words, you know, you're trying to take the path of least resistance all the time, you end up being so mad and so disappointed in yourself. Like, why didn't I stand up for myself? Why didn't I speak up? Why didn't I, you know, defend this person? Why didn't I defend my beliefs, my values? Like, why did I let that other person trample all over my boundaries? You know, it's so much better to be mad at someone else and have that temporary conflict than to be mad at yourself because being mad at yourself is something you'll harbor. You know, you don't want to have a grudge against yourself. You know, you don't want to be disappointed in yourself. And so it's so important to speak up when you need to speak up, you know, because that external peace is not worth sacrificing your internal peace. It's not. And it may be uncomfortable, it may cause some guilt and shame initially, but if that person is truly someone good and someone who should stay in your life, they'll be willing to hear you out and you can discuss it and come to some sort of common understanding. You know, if it's someone who's just going to be very angry with you and not hear your side, is that even someone that you want to have peace with? You know, is that even someone that you want in your life? You shouldn't have to silence yourself to keep certain friendships or, you know, certain working relationships or certain, um, you know, family relationships. You shouldn't have to feel so silenced all the time. Um, you know, that's not a healthy connection. Mm -hmm. So speaking up when you're able to, you know, I know there are some limitations with speaking up, you know, certain people may have authority over you, but when it comes to those close interpersonal connections, definitely speak your truth, definitely speak up when you're able to do so. And it's scary and it's hard, but it's worth it. And for some of you, you may need to speak up with your family, you know, that could be um, a combined message there. For others of you though, it's just encouraging you to spend time with the people that you love. You know, whether that is found family, friends, um, you know, biological uh, family, um, whether that's your pets, you know, whoever you love, whoever feels like family to you, spend some time with those people. And then we have create art. You could find some signs and synchronicities come out through your artwork. You know, you may be sort of just like doodling and you're like, why did I draw this house you know like that that's so odd for me to doodle a house and then you find out later on that that house had some sort of special message for you so you even could get signs from your guides through your artwork um but otherwise it's just encouraging you to make art you don't have to be good at it you don't have to be talented at it it could be coloring it could be making a collage um, knitting, if you're into that, anything that feels artistic, anything that allows you to express your creativity is going to be very useful to you, Pile 3. All right, let's get some Spark Grace matchsticks for you. So we have Strive to Improve Yourself Every Day. And this doesn't have to mean like, oh, you need to stick out um, stick with a 
exercise plan every single day. Like it doesn't have to be something like that. It could just be really trying your best every day, you know, um, and, and being gentle with yourself in that process. But improving yourself could just mean like speaking up for yourself more, you know, make that a goal for yourself. Um, give yourself time to be creative, express your creativity. That could be a way towards self-improvement. You're allowing your mind to be creative. You know, it doesn't have to be like, um, you know, some sort of like strict goal or regimen or something like that. We have offer love to those who may seem hard to love. Yeah, I feel like you guys are having some conflict with some people in your life. And so it's just kind of encouraging you to offer compassion to those people, but still balance that out with speaking up for yourself. You know, you can offer compassion to people and still hold firm in your own boundaries. And Spirit wants me to say, they understand that that's a skill that you develop over time and that's not something that is going to magically just change overnight for you. So have some patience with yourself in sort of learning that balancing act. And then we have do one thing each day that is just for you. Yeah, like creating art just for the joy of it, not because it's some sort of side hustle that's gonna make you money, you know? Just do something for the pure joy of it. You deserve it. You know, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day, you deserve that time. All right, pile three, this was your self-care reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. I hope it brought you anything and everything that you needed. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. The easiest way to support the channel is to watch the ads, and I'm so grateful to any of you who do any of those things that I just listed out. Thank you so much for all the support, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, Pile 3.